Hey guys, Fletcher Crossing here, and after feeling a little sick, I'm back now. So yeah, I had to go through some battles, of course. Tend to be exact, because that's what I was start a couple. I was just making the candles, and treasures, and logs, and whatnot. Nothing really much to say about that. However, one of the logs happens to be Crimson, which is what I was trying to get for a while now. My bone million and nine was in the mystical dimension. And did it work? Well, can I make a part of this? Well... No, he can't make water out of this. You'd think you get like a crypto forest, but nope. Ancient Rhea, on the other hand, well, since I had enough, I decided to test out to see if it worked. And truth be told, it does work. I was surprised, and I was amazed that, that this would actually work. Which let me confident that what would be on the other side. So I quickly built the portal in my portal room and decided to see what was beyond the portal. And what was beyond the portal, you may ask? I'll let me do the talking on this one. Three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh, I can't see. Well, I was right. It is a bizarre dimension. Enter an open that dimension for those who just can't quite decide. Okay. <gasps> Gassed. Oh, I get it. It's all the bombs at once. What is that? What are those? Are those wisps? <laughs> I know what that is. Oh, jeez. I just realized, yeah. Open nether. Open area. What the heck is that? Oh, jeez. Ow. What the heck is that? What is that? Okay. I better get back in the portal before, before any man happens. Okay. I'll come back for the box later. Okay, let's do this. Oh, jeez. One of them happened to slip through the cracks. How did that happen? They're not dying. It's just floating there. Menacingly. Does it see me? It sees me! Okay, it sees me, okay. I gotta leave it somewhere safe. Or at least somewhere not as dangerous. Okay, can I go through walls? Hey, I'm over here. Can I be killed? That's the, that's the, that's the better question. Oh, ha! Did I kill it? What is this? Kill a restless spirit. A restless... What was that? I have no idea what the heck was that. My goodness gracious, that always scares me. Every time. Well, at least some of the monsters are burning up. But yeah, look at this place. It's like an actual, it's like an actual nether, but for the surface. And things still spawn, regardless of what day this whole soil. I actually need that. And of course, before I collect any more, I gotta test to see if it'll work. Okay, no, it doesn't work, okay. I had to kill more of these spirits things eventually, and some of them dropped like these weird snowballs. I think they're called Restless Nature now that I look of it. But hey, at least I was able to get Basalt now. I just have to watch out for the Magma Cube over there. Not because of his jumping ability, they're like, oh, that certainly doesn't help. But because when you kill it, it actually spawns more of those little uh, spirit things, which are actually hard to kill when they're going fast and whatnot. Like Vexus, in a way. Regardless though, I was able to get to the Basalt area and, well, the Basalt actually works as a portal. So yeah, all I had to do is survive now. And by surviving, I mean dodge the heck out of these gas fireballs. Like, they were attacking like crazy. Oh my gosh. I was able to get through it though. And hopefully this portal takes me somewhere safe. Right? It can't be anything worse than that, right? Well, let's see. And it's a dive, oh my goodness gracious. Uh oh, no 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 Oh, they blocked the portal. I'm trapped in here. Okay, what the heck? Quick, find shelter. Okay, what the heck? My goodness gracious, oh my gosh. What the heck? Oh jeez, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm really stuck. All I see in the distance is mushrooms, soul fire, and everything else that's, that's evil. I think it's pretty cool. I need I did find my way back. Okay, wow. What the heck is going on here? Okay, wow. I'm a little trapped in here. What the heck? What's going on here? Why am I here? Why is there warp drive in here? Actually it's actually kinda useful because I can get, you know, the heck out of here. But still, how am I supposed to leave this place now? I'm literally trapped in here. What the heck? Is that a Coliseum? What's going on here? Do I dare enter? I don't want to enter. 
There's a gas in there. Ah, uh, but I'm about to die in here anyway. Oh, jeez. If I don't leave now, I'm I'm cooked. Okay. Enter the volcano another dimension. Hope you don't mind the heat. Have uh, beware people with deadly quartz flats. Beware quartz flats for what I see. Oh, I just happened to spot it in a terrible location. What are the odds of that? Oh, jeez. Run, run. Okay. I have to run back around there. Okay. My goodness. How did I end up here? Why did I end up here? How am I gonna leave this place place alive? What is going on here? My goodness gracious. This is heck. It's all heck. Big call heck. Oh, jeez. I see the gas in front of me. Okay. Knock the, knock the fireballs. Okay. The, the, the portal. It's still active. It's still active. Okay. I gotta go to this gas. Ow. Gotchas. Okay. Okay. Get in, 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 get in. My goodness gracious. I'm alive. Somehow, I'm alive. I'm alive. <laughs> I think I prefer this dimension over that dimension. This this bizarre dimension? No, not the diversity. That's a bizarre dimension over there. What the heck? Oh my gosh. How I shouldn't be alive by now. I should probably be dead. Oh my gosh. I'm. Remind me to never go there again. Okay. So after that craziness, I decided to go to another waste dimension to go explore that nether fortress in hopes that I can find some nether ward, a block I was also considering using. I was also able to find some loot chests filled with armor trims, gold, suits, and sadness, you name it. And thankfully there was some nether ward lying around somewhere. Of course I couldn't leave that fight, as there were like blazes like almost everywhere along with wither skeletons. But I was able to get it out pretty fast, getting some blaze rods as well. After heading back to where I came from, I decided to bridge over this little nether river over here so I could get to the bastion which was close by. I wasn't able to explore that much of it, only like a bit apart, but hey, at least I wasn't able to fight the brutes. And there was another one there, but I wasn't able to get to it. So I just quickly went back to get some doors because I was also thinking about going through the ocean dimension in hopes I could find something there which is not just basically water. And it went well, I was able to find some caves of water. I did have a have to mine up, where I did find a much oddly satisfying discovery. Oh my gosh, it's a house. And it is... A vast form of nothingness. Wow, it really is just an ocean. So yeah, it's in this water. So I went to just a little bit, and that's when I saw it at the corner of my eye. Is that Prismarine I see? Hold on. I think that is Prismarine. Prismarine? Portal? Maybe? No? Okay. But yeah, I don't see land for miles. Wow, it really is deserted. For all who couldn't see, that was actually a ocean monument, which is home to the gardens which hold Prismarine, which means I was able to get some easy access to Prismarine. But I'll have to wait for another time. As of now, I was focused on seeing which box works, which works well, didn't work, like this bamboo over here. So I was doing some lollygagging for about an hour waiting for certain crowds to grow, when suddenly, this happened. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh my gosh, what the heck? How did, how did it, oh my gosh, what the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Okay, what? 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 It's an actual zombie builder. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute, what? Eventually I chopped it in a boat and left it in my bed area so I could cure it later. Right now I have to go check on the crowd to see if they grew. See, I decided to plant some of this nether wart right here and hope I can get a block out of this. Also some melon crops so I can get some melons, as I was also at the time trying to get a block of those as well. So yeah, after curing the villager, I suddenly got a, a new roommate. And my roommate, I mean a new person to add to my collection. See, he, this guy likes to go outside, like, a lot, so I had to trap him somewhere. 
So I decided to trap him into the wheat farm until I figured out what to do with him. Eventually, I discovered that I had a wooden axe with a silk touch enchantment on it, which means I could use it to mine melon blocks themselves, and not turn them into melon slices, had a way to spend like a really long time getting them. So I went to, to the uh, jungle area so I could mine some melons, and well, was it worth it? Well, at least I have melon blocks now. Imagine I was like, eh, what if I go to the mystical adventure and make sure I have some blocks there. I eventually ventured into the swamp area where, surprisingly, slimes did start to spawn like everywhere. Like, initially when we went to the swamp dimension, I didn't have to, I deleted the footage of this, but yeah, I couldn't find the swamp slimes anywhere. Here, I was able to find them in a certain area. I also found some redstone because I kind of got lost in trying to head back after I a certain amount of slime. And yeah, that's what I'm thinking. What about redstone blocks? That could work too. So yeah, I decided to mine some redstone, and somewhere along the line, I don't know how, but I don't know where, my pickaxe got an enchantment out of the blue. Luckily, it was just like Fortune 2, which is why I was able to collect a lot more redstone than usual. So yeah, eventually I did get back home, and I did turn all the redstone into redstone blocks, and did it work? Well, let's just say at least I had redstone now, for the future. Eventually, they go back to the swamp dimension for the exact same coordinates of the swamp area I was in the mystic dimension, and yeah, there was like slime everywhere in that area. So for the next couple of minutes slash hour or so, I decided to hunt some slimes, along with getting bombarded with a lot of mobs. Eventually, I did run out of food, so during in the daytime, I gave some scraps like, for example, sticks and string, and made this fishing rod right here. I was able to fish for like some cod and salmon and whatnot. And I've now it's become a cycle. At the night, I would just go hunting for slimes, and by daytime, I would just go out and do some fishing. Also, get some jungle along the way. Eventually, I did reach a night which it did have a crescent moon, which means the next time will be a new moon. And when a new moon comes, slimes won't even spawn anymore. So I decided to hightail as soon as it turned into day, hightail right back to my portal area. So yeah, after one hour of hunting for slimes, was it all worth it? Nope, wasn't worth it. <laughs> it wasn't worth it. I literally spent all that time, and it wasn't even worth it. Oh my gosh, that is so frustrating. Uh, well, at least I got slime balls now, which is uh, which is what I need for my for my next for my next project that I plan on working on. So yeah, after contemplating a little bit, I decided to look out because I was tired. So I'm gonna skip to the next day, shall we? Okay. So, we're back at the ocean dimension today because, well, I want to go find that thing, the prismarine, see how far I can get into it. I'm not looking forward to this, but alright. Oh my gosh, it looks so creepy. Hmm, the way the lights light up and around like that, okay. Alright, uh, this one's. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, just one of them saw me. Okay, gotta go. I mean, okay, so we need that over there. We need those over there. Oh, but I think, but I think I'm a little too late for that. Okay. Okay, get in, 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 get in. Oh, do you have to be silly attack? Oh, the magic get in either way. So right now I'm enchanted with mining fatigue for five minutes. Okay. Five, six, seven. Eight. Oh, did you start again? Let me mine, let me mine. Okay. We mined the stuff. Now let's get out of here. Run, 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 run. Ow, 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 go, 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 go. That was a close call. Okay. Okay, it's the rest of the room. Let's see if this works. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. No, it doesn't work. Okay. Alright then. Well, I didn't have 
rosemary now, so I could probably put some with that. So what I'm about to do may seem questionable. As I said, I was never going to go back here again, but I guess not. They see me. I'm going over here. Whoa, almost got that. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I had to remind myself why I can't go back there. Apart from, from a few structures like this Coliseum right there, and also these like bony veins I still haven't run past through. There's not really much to see here. It's like a mine full of death and whatnot. Even skeletons can fare out of nowhere. Well, so yeah, after going there, I went back to the mystical but to do something I should have done a while ago. This works. Did it work? I don't see a mushroom anywhere. Ah, okay, good. Mushroom. Oh, wait, but we need to grow it with more bone meal, which we don't have at the moment. Dang it, okay. Alright, more bone meal, let's do this. Okay, we got it. Alright, we got Christmas soon, let's go. Uh, we must have got the weeping vines, too. And most importantly, we got nether board blocks, finally. Well, we, we have room here, we might as well test it now. Just Oh, what the heck? A silverfish. My goodness gracious, a silverfish. Okay. Much better than that, but alright. Okay, now let's just see if this portal works. It does work! I knew it! I knew it. It does work. I knew it all along. I, I flipping knew it. I knew it. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. Alright. I never wore the portal. This should be interesting. Alright, let's roll. Let's see what happens. And it's a nether forest. Oh. Okay. It's a warped forest. This is not what I was expecting, but warped wood everywhere. And crimson wood everywhere, too. This is so cool. Alright. I was expecting to be like a nether warp. Actually, no, this is more than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be like in a whole crimson wood thing. But it's better. A warp wood over here, and crimson wood over there. That's even better. And look, warp fungi. We finally have a supply of nether wood. Alright then. And then another forest version. Life success in the nether. At least a little bit. Alright. That's another diverse dimension down. Yeah, look at this place. It's so peaceful. Sort of. We still got the Enderman, but... That's another place. Is that another fortress? Hold on. It is another fortress. Alright. Cool. Uh-oh. Uh I see a hoglin. Two hoglins. I forgot... I, I legit... I totally forgot they were in the game. <laughs> Momentarily. Overall, yeah, this is pretty. This is pretty chill place. You can just come here, chill for a bit. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about anything at the moment. All right. Well, at least not now. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe these guys can be like If I enter here without like gold armor, then I'd be an mm -hmm. issue. But I have gold armor, so I should be fine. Ten out of ten. Then we'll come here again. Actually, we can make a portal with the ward ward blocks. I just, re I just remembered. Yeah. Can you do that? Nope, you can't. Okay. Makes sense, though. It would probably just leave back here again. Alright. So after that, Grant says, I decided to test out some of the Blackstone variants to see if they worked. Unfortunately, no, no. Polished Blackstone doesn't work. Blackstone bricks, they also don't work. A little disappointed. But hey, at least we got copper, right? So that's exactly what I did. I went back to the Illager Outpost to collect some of the copper I was along with making some of my own copper blocks as well. Of course, I had to de-wax them in order for them to age a little bit so I could test it out. And let me tell you, it took a long while for these to grow. But when I got to 10, that's when I decided to test out to see if it's actually worth the risk of the patience. Okay, we're officially at the 10 copper markers, which it's time for me to test to see if this actually will work. At least, at least we gave it the patience to do this. And it doesn't work. Okay. Well, that's fine. I haven't tried bricks yet. I need to try bricks. No, not the copper ingots, but bricks. Bricks like from clay and whatnot. I need to try that next. So that's what I did the next day. Went out to make some brick blocks, and sadly, they do not work. And also on a side note, glass also doesn't work. Just want to test it as a joke, and yeah, it doesn't really work. 
I went back to the Ocean Monument again, risking my life for Prismarine Bricks this time, and that also didn't work. Risk my life for nothing, I guess. But hey, at least we have kelp to make some dry kelp blocks that we collect. And along with another block I was also surprised to see was right under my nose. Dripstone block, you heard that right, dripstone block was right under my nose. So after killing the neighboring mobs over there, I decided to go mine out some of that dripstone block to finally see if it could be used as a portal block. And long behold, it does work. And I couldn't believe my eyes. Another portal down. Wish I could say the same for the dried cup block. Here we go. Another dimension down. Man, we're getting close. Let's do this. Okay, well, I can't see. Where the heck am I? The caves. Okay. Oh, jeez. Wait. In the darkness? Monsters are trying to spawn in the darkness. Okay, well, okay. Hold on. Oh boy, okay, here we go. Let's light this area up so that it's a little more safe. Oh, there's, there's iron here. Okay, I'll take it. Sort of. Light this area up for a second. Now, what did I get? Diggy diggy hole. Enter the cave to mention for those who can't get enough ore. Okay. I guess that's a plus. I am running on iron, if you will. Long story short, it was a very massive cave. We could like find ores everywhere, along with monsters. You just have to like place up, it'll be safe to go through. See, so, yeah, I decided to go through these caves and see what I could scavenge. I also discovered granite, which, spoiler alert, does not work as a portal as well. I already tried it out off camera. So yeah, what else can I say? But big case, you just have to be careful where you mine, because sometimes you get some gravel. Sometimes it might even fall through the deepest layers, and it's get stuck in the ravine, which you can't get out of. So yeah, after that, I decided to go wander off and see some more portal blocks. I'm, I may do like another video showcasing the entirety of the caves, but for that, I just want to focus on finding all these portals. Speaking of portals, you'll never guess what the final block is. Literally, I just happened to be in the Japan dimension, I was wandering off, and I was about to turn back, when suddenly I lost my way, and found this. Is that red sand? No way. Is it red sand? It is! It is red sand. It is red sand, oh my gosh. Wait, red sand? Red sandstone? Wait... Yeah, oh my gosh. I think... I think I, have, I think I may have an idea of what the final portal may be. You know the joke, collected the sand, it has the portal works, enjoy the scenery for a bit, man it looks nice. And finally see if the search is finally over. But first, Northern Lights. Oh, what the? Whoa, I didn't know you could do this. <laughs> wow, that's so beautiful. Are these Northern Lights? That's cool. Okay, now we're gonna see if the search is finally over. Three, two, one. It works! Oh my gosh, it works. It actually works. Yes. Yes. That's right, I finally discovered what may be the last diverse dimension. So yeah, after collecting enough blocks, I went back to the portal room, built the portal, rested for a bit, and then went to see what wait with me on the other side. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. The balance dimension, <laughs> of course. And it looks, well, better, I guess, than... Oh, there's red sand everywhere, alright. What did I get? Let's see here. And man dimension, not as bad as it sounds, alright. Frequent flyer, chart to epidemic dimensions. Alright. So yeah, I was right, this is the last diverse dimension. Alright. I'm assuming the mesa is not far off. And where there's mesa, there's gold. A lot of gold, to be exact. You know, that's actually kind of look familiar. I think this reminds me of Doom SMP when I was traveling through, when I was first traveling through that server. I saw all this. That's what this kind of reminds me of. The old times. That is much more simpler before before the whole universe got destroyed and everything and whatnot and everything was complex. Yeah, those were some good times. But I'm gonna, let's see what's around here. The best I could find was a watchtower that looked abandoned, but it wasn't really abandoned. There was someone there still. By someone, I mean a building cater, which wasn't very happy to see me. But don't worry, once he was taken care of, I was able to see what was inside that chest. 
and then shortly after I went back home after a hard day's work. Right then, so what could be the last dimension then? Well, it's not glass, it's not prismarine, it's definitely not the deep slate variants, uh, it's not even dried kelp, of all things. So what could it be? Yeah, for a while I've had this theory. I don't know if it's true or not, but... Let's see. Okay. Well, we're gonna find out. Okay, here we go. I need to- I need him to, to come over here, okay. Oh boy. This may not work, this may not work. Oh boy, here we go. Whoa! Okay. That definitely works. Oh my gosh, okay, wow. And it doesn't work. Okay, that's fine. But hey, I just got scoped now. At this point, there are only two other blocks that I could think of could potentially be a portal block. So I have a theory, so if so, it won't work, I'm thinking end stone, or basically purple blocks. Because I have chorus food, where is it? It's court. There it is, the chorus food, it's right here. So, so I'm not going to eat this one now, but the problem is, I could use this to make, what is it called? Popped chorus. Or any of that, to make, you know, the good thing about it is that they work in a one-to-one -one ratio, so you just do four of that, and you get four purple blocks. That's pretty cool. So that's my theory. Another theory is to use end stone, which can only be found currently in the end. Some sort of sheer miracle in order to get there. Oh yeah, that's for now. But I think that's for another time, because I've discovered all the diverse dimensions already. I think I'll leave the bizarre ones for another time. So yeah, that is actually going to be it now. I have a I don't know how long this episode's going to be. I think it's going to be a pretty, a pretty long episode, guys. Oh, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave any guys comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, for check out my other stuff in the meantime. And, yeah. See you on the next video, or whenever I find the next episode I mentioned. Take care. Bye for now.